So first off, <clears throat> in order to get the text ready for the emails, the easiest thing to do is just to format it in Word like this. You're going to have a description and a title, both of which so you can just easily copy paste. But then for the body of the email, you're going to want to do your headings, do a head, header one or heading two, one of those two. And then the body of the text will just keep as a uh, normal. Then you can see I did heading two right here. And this way you'll be able to just copy and paste this directly into part of it. Okay, we're gonna get the images ready for our email. To do that in Illustrator, I'm gonna go ahead and go new from template. And click new here. Now <clears throat> once we have the images we want to use. one with the news. and you don't have to always buy these by the way you can go ahead and go search Google for image and you'll see here you can usually find it Hmm, okay, so in this case, I will go ahead and use that, and then, and then also maybe like, uh, this one. Okay, now, <clears throat> We can go ahead and place these images in here. And just make sure they are sized accordingly. Alright, place that and then
So the first one, the first little box here is going to be the title or the title image. So let's go ahead and copy our title here. Okay. Actually, the better way to do this is to click T then select the area that you want your title to fit into then paste your title. And then find a little bit better of a font. Come on. Okay. That looks good, except I'm going to go ahead and make it white and then add a Drop shadow on that. 200, view, 2, 2, 3, uh, 4. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do it like that. Now, when you are ready, you go ahead export as. I'll go ahead and make a new folder here. called uh, email images okay so you're just gonna click here uh, you can call it whatever you want and then click use artboards all and then hit export hit okay now when you go to that folder you just made Email images, you will see email header image, email body image. And now we are ready to put it into Pardot. Okay. So once you are in Pardot, you're going to go to emails new email template name whatever you want to call it usually just the title works tag for email email uh, marketing email template folder and so go to okay model email template select campaign email newsletters okay and then just hit save and here you're going to scroll down and you're going to select responsive image basic click apply so here we have our responsive image basic template up here this is where we will copy our little description put that right there now we can replace the image we click on the image where it says 60 by 150 then over here double click now you want to upload and this will be that header image in the email images folder that we just made hit open and OK and from here click once over here double click over here upload and now we're going to do the body image okay. click OK now you're going to first click into this area and we're going to copy the first portion of this uh, probably just right here for this part so delete that then paste that okay now go down here and we're going to grab the rest of this copy that and delete that paste 
All right, make sure that your spacing and everything is on point. This is not okay. Oh yeah. Also, you need to make sure that the phone number is clickable. In order to do that, you'll highlight the phone number and then click this link, which is the hyperlink. Then protocol, you're going to select other. The URL is going to be exactly this. T-E-L colon plus one and then the phone number. So 888-228. To 119 and then click OK and that phone number is now clickable okay the next thing we need to do is click on the text tab and this is going to be for the, the text only emails you can click sync from HTML and then OK now all you have to do is delete the kind of uh, some of the stuff up here make sure that the formatting looks okay All right. and then the only other part that's important is down here at the bottom we want to make sure and keep this stuff but we want to format it as size Okay, now that's done. Next thing we're going to do is go to sending. We're going to go general user, name of first medals, email, input, okay, subject line. Um, you can use your title or if you have, uh, if you have a different the idea for the subject line rather than the title, you can use that. Okay. And then published template. And that's it. We're good to go.